Good morning, this is Kel with MakerFixes.com. And today we're here to talk about the Annette and the heat, heat fed situation. Some of the safety problems with the Annette when it comes out of the factory. Um, one of the common problems, if you don't have your Annette, don't have an Annette yet, or you have one, many of us have run into a problem with this plug that plugs in right here. Melding. Right here. That's obviously one that has any wires in it, but that, that has a problem with melding. Now, you'll see lots of fixes, uh, solder to the board, which is what I did originally, uh, solder wire to the board and, and do that. Um, put a MOSFET board on. Uh, you'll see, I've seen that on, oh, you got to put a MOSFET in to stop that from burning or you solder this to the board. What I'm going to show you is that some of the problems with the soldering idea on the MOSFET board, the MOSFET board doesn't do anything. Um, the MOSFET board takes the power off the main board. It still has the same power going to here, the same amount of electricity is going through here, the same amperage. It doesn't affect this at all. So I'm putting a MOSFET to stop this from burning up is not going to help you. Uh, in case you don't know what a MOSFET board is, it's a little board like this. I can get them on eBay. I'll probably put a link down in the description. Um, you can get them on eBay and Amazon for about ten or twelve dollars. And what happens is here is uh, you run the power into here from your, your power supply, and then you run this out to your heat bed, hot bed. And this is your c controller right here. This and it's got this big heat sink on here. Okay. Um, that takes all this power from 12 amps going into that into that heat bed, and puts it on this instead of on that little heat sink that they put on the Annette boards. And they're not the only printers with that issue. Uh, MOS, uh, I know Creality now is putting their own MOSFET boards on the side, but most printers don't have one. They're, they're built on the main board, and that's not a bad idea for any printer, but it doesn't fix the heat bed problem. This is more for the hot end. Um, this is a good idea for the hot end. Okay. You can put one up. Some people put them on both. No problem with that, but it's more hot end first on that one. Uh, what the problem is with this is when you get your net, and this is not the original net wiring here. Uh, this is one I made. Okay, when you get your net, it's got this plug on it here with six wires. See, it's got the red, the black, and uh, mine was white. I think some of them might be yellow. I don't know. But the two middle ones, the two middle ones are the, for the thermistor. Uh, to, to tell the main board what the temperature of this is. Brings from the thermostat back. And, of course, the black is the negative and the red is the positive when you plug it into the board. Okay. Plug that in. If you look at your board now, I'm going to plug this one I just made in here. Okay. There we go. First time I plugged in. Okay. You'll look right there. There's the red positive. There's actually two positive, and mine's got a little bit of flux on there, but there's two positives and two negatives on here. And here in lay is a problem with the way the net is designed. This wire here that I have put on here is capable of carrying the 12 amps that this can require. Okay. This connector is not. Now I'm not sure the wiring that comes with the net can either. I tried to solder that wire and put it up. I just put a to, to tin that wire and that insulation melted in a big hurry. So I was really leery of using the wire that came with the original net. So basically I replaced the whole thing. And I don't have my net here. I actually dropped it on the floor and broke the frame. So I'll have to either get a steel frame or a aluminum, build an aluminum frame and rebuild it. But uh, that was my bad. It caught on my shirt and whoops, there it went. Anyway, but I went and bought some underwriters listed wire, some better quality wire. And redid this fitting. Now that's not the original I bought the fitting to. I don't even have the original fitting. I'm not sure. You know. But this still doesn't fix the problem. Better wiring doesn't fix the problem because it's in, in the connector. And the way to fix the problem is one of two things. And uh, it's this plug right here is designed for 10 amps per connector, not for the entire plug. Well, there's a 12 amp capacity. 
So if you take these, and if you have the, the crimpers to put these ends on, you can find these ends. And you put two extra wires in here, like so. Run these to your power supply, one, one next to each other. Okay. And that didn't clamp, clamp in there. I won't put that back in there. Of course, whenever the camera's going on, you know, that's uh, when that stuff happens. Oh, I see why that didn't clamp in there. And this is a JST connector, just a larger one. Okay, well, oh. I got a lot of here. The one I messed up there. Well, that one ain't much better. Okay. Anyway, let me fix that real quick. Now, in order to make these, just show you real quick here. It's not real hard. Strip a little bit off. You need uh, see this is uh the white JSC connectors, which is now hooked up in the wire. I just threw over here. There we go. The little ones that are on the net board take little crimp ends that are about yay big, okay, 2.5 millimeter. These are a little bit bigger, so. I'm not sure it's worth buying just enough parts to make one of these for yourself. The time you buy the uh, the new connector and the wire and the crimpers and buy the crimping players to put them on. So I am going to list these on eBay. So they're available to Annette users. I was supposed to have this already made, and then I didn't realize I'd made a bad one. So, anyway, we will fix the bad one. We will fix the bad one. We're making it right here, live on the air. Showing you all my military secrets here. I'm sure crimping is a military secret. We learn it from the aliens or something, I'm not on. I didn't mess that one up. Yay. Okay. So, well, we put the extra black wire in here like we were talking about. Now, basically, it does a 12 amp pull, and that's the that's 6 and 6, and this, this is 10 amps per connector right there. And this has a much safer. Now, one more thing you got to do, and I don't have one here, there's several of them on Thingverse is one of the problems that happens with these connectors is this 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 uh, heat bed is always in a constant state of movement right at least mine is one behind me is probably moving right now I hear it humming okay so it's going like this right and these wires are doing this moving at all the time you need to get a stress relief and you can print them off the thing first it mounts it down here to keep these wires from moving around. Every time that moves, it creates a little oxidization on these things here. More oxidization, more heat. It should only should have. I think they're one ohm is all these should have. You start getting that all over time, you're going to get this all. all these connectors get all oxidized and it increases your resistance, which is increases the heat, which in turn melts your connector. So, stress relief. What six wires instead of uh, instead of four, these both these will go to the two pluses on your power supply. Got two coming in, right from your uh, 
board there, and then you got the two thermostats. So you have a six wire connector. You now have no more than six amps per line, and this will withstand the, the temperature. Okay. I hope that helps. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. If you're building one of these yourself, these little ends right here, there's two different styles of them on the market. One has very thin. If you get the thicker ones, which are sold very commonly here in the United States and most of the other shops, they're a little thicker here. They won't fit on your the, the motherboard that comes with the Annette. you got to get the they're real skinny, real skinny sides on that little connector right there. Can you see that there? They're really skinny ones, and it looks pretty fat in that picture I'm looking at, but they're not. They're real skinny ones. Okay. Uh, I don't have one. To, let me see if I have one to compare with. I don't think I do. No, I don't have one here. But the other ones are a little fatter. So you need to find the skinny ones or it won't fit to your power supply. Or just go to eBay and I'll uh, put a link to, in, to eBay to one of these so you can buy one. The ones I make here are two foot long. Plenty enough to get around over and have plenty of room for your motherboard to go back and forth. You will see some 12 inches. That's probably not going to be long enough for you. Okay. I hope that was uh, helpful. Uh, everybody enjoy the football games today and you have a great day.